And hello. Hi. Oh, hi. We have two people right here that do not know how to put on false eyelashes. Can we Jamie, clarify? Marcy. I know how to. Bad beauty editor. I'm just shitty at it. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to start off this Facebook Live <laughs> with a potty mouth. <laughs> But I've, ne I've never tried. You've never tried. I'm, I'm too afraid. But I, I want to learn. I promise you it's it's easy and it's really good. Caitlin says that she can do it while blindfolded in a pool. No, I surrounded by She's she's, a, she's also that special new uh, horoscope sign, so maybe she's got some like I don't witchery even know who I am on. anymore. I've written about uh, on Exovane, I've written about how my grandmother was never seen without them my mom and I just to did not inherit the ability to do it well and part of that is because I find them uncomfortable uh -uh. like once they're on I just so them. I wore them on Halloween last year because I was Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz it was the most painful night of my life. It's so uncomfortable. It's really right? uncomfortable you and weird. You feel like something is like, like a bug is sitting on your eyelid. And as someone that doesn't wear makeup like on my face every day, when I am wearing lipstick, that also feels weird. It's just like the first time you get straight across bangs and you can feel them on your face and you just need to like sit through it and get used to it. Um, although, Wait, aren't you getting bangs? I'm gonna get bangs, yeah. Uh oh. Sorry, my phone is. Guys, we're in our new co our new conference room, which it's is our it's the same conference room it's always been. It's just they remodeled it, and now it has a therapist chair, which I will show you. Or a therapist couch. Yep. That is and right. therapist chairs. Yep. There you go. For two for two therapists. For two therapists and the exogene <laughs> staff. <laughs> That's not um, enough. Okay, so I will tell you my one uh, false eyelash horror story, which is not even my horror story. It's my mother's. She was in a car crash and she got, it was during the 70s, so she had like two stacked pairs of false eyelashes on and she got a head wound and was like bleeding and when they got her to the hospital, she thought she was going blind because her false eyelash oh, no. glue and blood were mixing and they like kind of closed oh. her eyes all the way shut. So my dad's sister showed up and was like, oh my God, how are you? And she was like, I'm going blind. Get these things off of me. And my, <laughs> my aunt Donna just yanked the false eyelashes Ooh. off her. Anyway. Anyway, here's how to recreate that here's a, here's Here's a horrible <laughs> Halloween experience you can also have. Fake eyelashes. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to show, I'm going to put them on myself first, and then I'm going to walk Marcy and Jamie through their first eye. Alright, so I'm going to get closer to you. Basically push them out of the nest and okay. make them do their second eye. Which lashes are you guys doing? I'm going to use these Sephora lashes. Okay. Which they, ones are you this, doing? This is hard. I want to show you guys because they look like the faces in Escape from Oz. Like, <laughs> aren't they creepy? <laughs> We thought these were Kardashian beauty, but apparently they're, they're Crave. Crave beauty. Crave? Crave. Yeah. Crave. I, I'll go with these. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to steal these because these they're, they're a little thinner. So I these are actually the brand that I always buy because Kiss. they're at like, yeah, it's Kiss. They're at like CVS's and Rite Aid's and whatever. But what I like about them is that the tips, they even put it in their marketing copy. Um, the tips are like tapered, so it looks really natural <laughs> and fluttery versus just being like chopped at the end. Mm. Um, so this is what I use. I don't use this particular style because I normally use um, ones that have a clear band here, which you can see here. It's just like knotted. Um, I find they're a little easier to use, and I like the ones that flare out at the ends, but I'm going to work. I'm oh. sorry. I just realized. What? Well, both, I think both the, the glues that we brought are actually black and not clear, <laughs> so this is going to be a little more challenging because that's like for experts Always who want to like... Always get the clear glue. Yeah. But I just realized that the name of this is Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe Black. And Aloe Black oh, is definitely a singer. It is. <laughs> yes. Great. Okay. Wait, I'm remembering something. We should have gotten our little circle light for today. Oh, I can go get it. Good. Should we see? Because I feel like yeah, the lighting sure. is really good for Caitlin, but not for you guys. That's because Caitlin is like 10 years younger than us. <laughs> No, it's bad lighting. We need a filter. You're you're both much prettier than this than the lighting. Oh, is. I say then the lighting is than the lighting. Oh no 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 no! You're all beautiful. Stop. Uh, okay, Marcy's gonna go get a ring light, which looks like a chip clip. Um, I just kind of want to play with it yeah. selfishly you have since to I'm eat your chips in the dark and you need a light. <laughs> since I'm not putting on um, false eyelashes. I told Dan he could if he wanted to. Mm, not into it. Um, but one of the one of the other important things when you're putting on false eyelashes, and it's like the end of the day, so I'm all like greasy, and I was like, Marcy, do you have any pressed powder? Um, the glue will stick not as well 
if you uh, put it on top of greasy eyelids. So you should either like use a primer, give yourself a little dusting of like translucent powder, or put it on top of like fresh powder eyeshadow. Um, and that will help it stick longer. Oh, oh, How does this oh. work? How does this work? Ah! <laughs> Is it on? No. There we go. Okay. okay. No. Turn it all the way up. It didn't do a damn thing. Mm. Yeah, but I have there to see what you got. Is that that's better? That nice. It's better. Okay. It's not. <laughs> it's better. It's better. I'm I'm a professional I'm in the spotlight. Now. I'm literally in the spotlight right now. It's kind of. We'll show you <laughs> later. <laughs> what it looks like. Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Are you guys ready? No. It's gonna be fun. Watch. I'm, this is probably gonna be the time I mess it up. Um. So, first things first. Oh, I should have painted my nails for this. Um, I always like to give it like a little wiggle to sort of reshape it and like round it out a little bit. Makes it more flexible. Yeah, it makes it more flexible and it also just like fits nicer to the curve of your eyes because like this is not my eye shape. I don't know about you. <laughs> um, so next and the thing that I always forget is you want to trim these because again I, I probably have smallish eyes but this is like way longer than my natural eye is. Um, so when I get the ones that fan out at the end, I normally cut from the inside to keep that fan shape. Um, but since these are pretty much the same, I'm gonna cut from the outside. Um, normally I just use the scissors that I cut my bangs with when I had bangs. Uh, these are my office scissors. Super sterile. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? Um, so you should make sure it's- first here, Dick Sitch. You should cut between the knots. Um, you'll see them when you're looking at it. Um, see how it's like <laughs> nice <laughs> elbow fart there. That's see how great. it's like knotted here. Um, just cut in between them so that all the hair. Trying stay to do on A and B camera at the same time over here. It's a, we we appreciate all you do, Dan. <laughs> I'm just trying to take a picture because I think it's so funny that it says aloe black. <laughs> Marcy is Snapchatting and she's not going to be able to get her eyelashes to stay on her face because of it. <laughs> I'm a good student. Yeah, <laughs> I'm watching her every move. <laughs> Okay. Man, I got a 75% scholarship at Florida State University. There you go. I'm a great student. Alright, so I did one. I'm gonna do the other. Same thing, just kind of wiggling it to give it a better just shape. Really yeah, like that. <laughs> oh, also, one thing you should never ever do um, literally never buy those Halloween false eyelashes that they sell in like the end caps of CVS with like the face makeup. They're so bad and they suck and just like don't. And you really can get nice ish for cheap. lashes for, like for cheap. seven dollars. Yeah, is I think how much these cost. But how long do false eyelashes last for? If you take care of them, the nicer ones, like the ones you buy from Sephora, you can use like seven or eight times if you like pull the glue okay. off. Um, so it's like a dollar per wear. Yeah, it's not that bad. No, it's really not. Um, but also you can just kind of rip them off at the end of the night and really freak out whoever you're on a date with, which is, Marcy was like, are you gonna wear these on your date tonight? And I was like, no, because I will have to yank them off my face at some point, <laughs> which is terrifying. All right, sorry. Wait. What, why? Yeah, like, you, are you gonna, you have to yank them off your face? Well, you don't wanna go to sleep with them on. So what you're saying is you're definitely no, getting no. laser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I no. was thinking the same thing as you, and Caitlin just exposed herself. <laughs> you're so red right now. I love it. This is our best Facebook Live moment ever. Just do it, Charlotte Tilbury. I love how me and you are like MacGyver with that one. <laughs> We'll stop it from happening. I even wore like a super thotty fake turtleneck cutout shirt. Okay. Anyway. I like thought style. Thought uh, Yeah. Um, what did that book say hot stood for? Healthy or organic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. It was something about food. Okay. Jeez. I. All right. So I have never used the black. Oh. Uh, I've never used the black glue um, because I think it's supposed to help blend in with your lash line and your yeah. eyeliner. Uh, I just know that this is what my mother always told me not to use. So sorry, mom. <laughs> if you're watching, which I really hope you're not. I do think it's sort of like a pro level. Yeah. Color. I am not a pro. Um, Most white and 
like white will usually dry clear and obviously clear will dry clear. Okay, I don't know if this needs to be said or not, but always make sure that the shorter lashes are going towards your tear duct. The inner corner. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I Your caruncle. Oh. I think that's what it's called, the, the pink doodad. That's gross. In the corner of your eye. All right, we gotta put a lash on soon okay. or, or we're gonna lose people. <laughs> All right, so. You mean you don't like learning about eye anatomy? <laughs> Lots of uh, fancy YouTube bloggers and like Instagram makeup people will like take a little brush and like, br uh, whatever, you don't need to do that. Um, just put a little bead on the tip uh, and then just sort of draw it on. And now Insert shot. <laughs> and now this is the most important part. You put your glue down and you wait you have to get the glue kind of tacky so that it actually sticks to your face. I was right. See, that. I would just throw them You'd right just be on, like, ah. which is what I think I did on Halloween. And then they end up like stuck up yeah. here, and your makeup's already on, so your yeah. I was. Mask. I am not a beautiful woman. The dictionary defines Some caruncle <laughs> as the red prominence at the inner corner of the eye, and also the turkey waddle. Oh, oh. gross! All right, so you got turkey waddle. In your so eye. now you get to get like all up in your mirror. All right. And I like to grab it by the middle and anchor that first. So. So Ooh. I do the outer edge, do the middle, then the outer edge. And then you just kind of, this is the trickiest part. Kind of stick it in there and just hang out. So it's almost about not touching it Aww. as much as it is about touching it. Yeah, and you might have to reposition like I do because my hands are shaking because I'm embarrassed. Um, <laughs> and also you like to, oh, I'm getting black glue all over my face. Ooh, but it looks good. Yeah, it yeah, does yeah. look good. It looks good on camera. There you go. That's what matters. Wow. <laughs> so there's one. Okay, I'll do another one. Mm. So still have that same bead of glue, and what's nice is that since it's on the outside of the little glue tube, it's already kind of dried. I feel like Kim or some of our like more technical contributors are watching this right now and just cringing at what I'm doing. You have to be real good at something to do it. Oh, this pack came with two right sides. What? Yeah, so you can see that it's little on this side and longer on this side, mm -hmm. which means it should be going on this way. What if you... I guess I can... Can you flip it? Yeah, can you? No. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go on like this. Wait. If you guys have any questions yeah. <laughs> for our expert, yeah. Caitlin, well, you could also send them through. Probably clip the... Um, the lashes themselves. Well, do you guys feel ready? I feel like you're ready. Mm -hmm. I just try it. I'm yeah. gonna yank mine off. All right. Okay. So I'll talk you through your right eye. So start with okay. the eye. So my right eye would be. <laughs> Marcy. <laughs> Marcy has a, like a disgusted look on her face. Like she doesn't want to do this. Wait, I'm reading the direction. I really should have gotten a manicure. My nails are. I know. Mine are like so chill. Mine are too. <laughs> Okay. Alright, so I'm out. flexing. Yep, you're just like wiggling it. I'm doing that. Yeah. Got it. I feel like I'm distracted. Okay. Someone just liked. Yay! And then, <laughs> okay, Thanks so for validating do us. I need, do I need to cut it? You should feel where it starts. I like to start it right about here. More likes. Okay. <clears throat> um, honestly, the easiest. So they sell like those little half lashes and I love those for daytime and they're really easy to put on. Daytime. Um, but yeah, the, sh the shorter you go, the easier it is to put on. May I have the mirror? Yes. <laughs> Probably <laughs> useful. <laughs> or we, I think just see if I can Ooh, do now it Now I feel like a, like a stage mom going from the sidelines. Okay. I thought my, my eyes are definitely too like... small for this. I think you could trim a few off of the outside. Of the end? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. Mine's okay, so look for the knots. Yep. Okay. I'm going to trim between the knots. And honestly, I always go with too short rather than too long because first of all, false eyelashes are pretty cheap and it's way easier to put them on and have them stay on if they're shorter versus if they're too long for your eye. Okay. 
probably take off another two or three another like two. groups of the knots. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> That's not how it. No. 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 <laughs> That's not even attached. <laughs> Oh, also an another thing you should literally never do, don't ever do it, don't buy the ones that like are already like, there's adhesive on it. It's garbage. No, yeah, like, that does not sound good. They're terrible. Now, I don't know about you, but I think this one doesn't matter which side is which. They look like... Yeah, they look fine on they both sides. taper on both sides. Okay. I think this How are you looks, feeling, Jamie? This looks reasonable. Okay. I think I can do it. But okay. if they taper on both sides, should you clip from both ends? Yes. Russell Crowe says... What? Russell That's a really great Facebook name i have individual ones applied for every few weeks because i'm lazy don't emoji don't at me. Oh, what happened what it's gray that's okay, not black that's that's okay not black. do i need to shake this or something no, or it's okay. <laughs> fine. okay that's that was a surprise that's fine it's a learning process also i feel like i see a lot of those kits for sale that have like the applicator thing and like that's garbage and you don't need that Smells like the strings that like you... no, it's like um, it's like it looks like a chip clip. Um, every, everything, everything looks, looks like a chip, chip clip. What's a chip clip? It's oh, like, oh, you, oh, um, okay. it's like this little like kind of claw clip. Uh, and they're like, oh, you just hold the eyelash in there. Okay, so you need to wait. Did you put glue on that? You need to wait. Oops. You need to wait. Oh, <laughs> Jamie. That's like I'm down to a B. <laughs> no, no, it's no, like you. No A for me. And Beauty class. school dropout. Okay. Yes. I'm jealous of Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe. Russell like... Crowe. Oh, I'm sorry. As in Brussels sprouts. Oh well, I'm jealous of Russell Crowe because I had eyelash extensions for like one month and they made all of my real eyelashes fall out. Yeah, that but happened I to Kelly so too. Pretty. I looked so pretty all the time. I like rolled out of bed and looked like a Kardashian. It was the most amazing thing. Uh, but also it was incredibly expensive. Russell lives in Cornwall, UK. Oh. Another reason to be jealous of okay. Russell Crowe. Um, All right. Russell also wants to know, do they get, do they fall off or get wonky when you are out? Um, if I'm sweating a lot, sometimes I'll start to get them up at like the outer corner and the inner corner a little bit. But I like to do a thicker, darker eye look when I'm doing that so that you can't see the gaps between. So basically don't. Don't sweat it. <laughs> don't sweat. Yeah. Don't go someplace you know you're going to sweat, like a concert. Yeah. The E train. The good thing about these Sephora ones is that the you can put them back in the case and reuse them. So it looks like you went the, oh, no. a little high okay. on the outside. A little high. So you can actually just pull it off, like hold in the middle and pull it off. Oh, yeah. Pull the whole thing off? Uh, okay. Well, yes. <laughs> do that. Is, am I too, is my too dry now? Do, no, I need more, do I need more glue? You might need a little more okay. glue. All right, so Marcy, let's go with you. Um, so what is helpful to think about is there's a little bit of like a shelf between where your eyelid is and where your lashes start and you're just trying to kind of like notch it in that shelf, like that space between. Oh Marcy, you're looking good. All right. So just grab the outside edge and just stick it just in there. Just getting black glue everywhere. It's okay. We can clean it off. I don't even like this one more glue. Does your eye feel heavy though? No. Ew. I'm like the biggest baby with any, like, any of this stuff. Hey, you're looking good. No, I am not. Wait, let me see. Okay, so most people when they're applying their false lashes, they're putting it on before they have mascara on and before they curl their lashes. Mm -hmm. That's true. This is gonna sound like the humble brag of humble brags, but I've Marcy brag doesn't have to curl before. her lashes. I don't have to curl my lashes, and I think that's interfering with my ability to see what Oh, I see what's happening. Hold on. I'm gonna give this mirror over to Jamie before her glue dries. Thank you. Because I think I'm just gonna gently like pick at your eyelashes. <laughs> see? There you go. But honestly, they look good you from do, here. You do. Good. I feel like I have something trying to enter my eye. It is, I think. <sighs> you just gotta do it a few times and like hang out with it and get used to the way it feels. I mean, I'm gonna wear them for the rest of the day, even though I'm covered in glue now. <laughs> I know, me too. It's like all over my hands. I'm Jamie, how you doing? I am. Hey, you're doing good. Okay, I'm, it's sticking a little bit on this side. Every time I what blink. do we think? How Every does time that I look? Blink. I feel like something's trying Let's to say, look at me. Yeah. You're looking good. So I think in, for your next eye, you mm -hmm. should cut them a little more than you did. Just because okay. like that part near your, what is it? Your caruncle is the most difficult part to get stuck down. Yes. I'm seeing that now. I have very sensitive caruncles. 
<laughs> These are beautiful eyelashes. I said I could put yeah, one on. Yeah, really pretty. Really so Jamie, I have to ask you. we have more than I thought. Are these your natural eyelashes? Do you use like Latisse or anything on them? No. Oh my god, get out of town. It's, they're natural, but my eyelashes are straight. Like completely straight. So I could like pile on mascara and then curl them with mascara, right. but it just feels all clumpy and gross yeah. to me. So I curl them and I use a little bit of mascara, but... Well, the That's good thing, it. the thing that like is really the finishing touch, which we won't show you because I don't think I asked anyone to bring their mascara today. Um, but the thing that really does help blend your natural eyelashes and the false eyelashes is putting on a few coats of mascara right after you're done. Because it like bonds it. It almost. bonds them together yeah. and it makes everything sort of the same color and like fills in any gaps. I honestly don't think I did this right. I don't think I got it close enough to the lash. I mean, it looks good on camera. Let me see. There's really not that much of a gap, but you can try on your next eye to get closer. Okay. All right. Okay, so I see what you mean about cutting it. See how it's like coming up? And it's like, I do. you get like more of like a, an arch near that part of your eye. Mm -hmm. So like the outside edge is a little straighter. Okay, so this is a good first try. Yes. But I like, I mean, I really like this look though. It's really cool. It's one of those Especially things. Especially the cat eye. Yeah, and it's one of those things where you put them on and you're like suddenly so pretty and then it's like, oh God, I can never take these off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did have fake eyelashes for my wedding and they were great. Did they stay all day? Oh yeah, well they were little tiny, like she glued them on. Individuals. Piece piece. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, she did a great job. That's what my mom got for my sister's wedding. I put, I gave myself just like, gigantic eyelashes because I was like I want to look good in photos and I had this huge beehive it was great um it was, it was very retro I love retro I know very <laughs> exciting I'm gonna put a bump it in tonight right <gasps> oh, bump it Honestly, I, double love, cat eye. You know, I love bump it I love a jersey bump I love like some crown teasing mm -hmm. I it's because I grew up mm -hmm, with a bump in it. jersey but my single Thanks. lipstick are you wearing I'm bomb. wearing Mac Huggable Glass. I see what the issue is. You have way too much glue on that. In Mega Hug. <laughs> uh, excuse me? It's the name of the color. Mega Hug? Mega Hug. Wait, but it's called Huggable Glass? Huggable Glass. Because they have lip glass. Mm -hmm. They also have Huggable Glass. What makes it Huggable? I think it's more moisturizing. I don't know. It's hugging her lips tighter. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just the beauty editor. Beauty, I don't like name beauty shit. marketing and like naming yeah. conventions are <laughs> wild. I, um, girl, what is going on? I'm coming over here to watch you. Listen, guys. guys, I'm a beauty editor. I know a lot about this shit. I cannot actually practice it. That's fine. I'm done. All right, I'm done. Put it in the middle. I can't go out in public like this. <laughs> I like how I'm making Jamie do this with black glue while she's wearing a white dress. You know, this is a challenge. It's terrifying. A challenge for the mind, a challenge for the body. I welcome it. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? Brussel Crow has been hanging out with us. Hanging out with us. Cool. Thank you, Brussel. Brussel, tell us a story. <laughs> I wonder, Brussel, is that your real name? You don't have to tell us your real name. No, it's like a play on Russell Crow. Oh. <laughs> No. Um, that doesn't mean it's not real. As you guys know, besides me looking really good right now, uh, yesterday... Wait, but Marcy, you have hooded eyes like I do, so no one can see your mistakes. That's true. They can read it in my eyes. You got so. nice and close. No, nice and close definitely is the same as getting it right. Now, Jamie is using a blowing method. Method over here Wait, is that like advised advise or we, yeah, yeah, yeah. air dry? Yeah, okay. The, Can we please not glow. assume that Russell Crowe is fake? Because yesterday we read in the news that a man named Denzel Washington attacked his mother named Aretha Franklin. No. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> Russell says no. I'm uh -huh. right. It's a play on Russell Crowe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Russell A lot of fake right. people out there on the internet, you know? Yeah. <laughs> fake people. <laughs> so true. Brussels name is Claire. Oh, hey, Claire. Hi, Claire. Claire. I like that name. With an I or without? Angelica Burns asks, why black glue? To help hide that they are false? Well, so sometimes you use black glue if you, like, want it to blend into your eyeliner. I find that the, the white glue is actually transparent, and it's a little easier to use because, like, 
when you get white glue up here, you can't see it. As opposed yeah. to the situation As opposed going to on just, my face Just right give now. them a wink, Lexi. Yeah, there you yeah go. That's, that's, that shows. The thing the is, glue. I do find that the glue, once it's dry, like, it sort of just rolls off if you yeah. touch it. So. What do we think? I think you're looking good. They are, yeah. They look yeah, really good. On camera? Okay, yes. good. Uh, close, maybe not. No, they do. Yeah. You're like a, you're like a bit, you're like You a know what? You have really long eyelashes to begin with, so it's like almost hard to tell. It's not a big fake, difference really? for you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll have to go bigger next time. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Like that's a what bit of a she curl. said. Kardashian. Hey. Yeah, I'll get the Kardashian ones next time. All right. Look no. At this. No, no, it looks good. It's not sticking. <laughs> Guys. I just don't like wearing those. You gotta like practice, that. that's all. But I'm not gonna practice. Or you could try half I don't lashes. Like this. <laughs> You're a beauty editor, you will do it. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I have short nails. Beauty is pain and I glue got all over your face. right now. I can't get my <laughs> shit on. I am not a makeup artist, I'm not a hairdresser, I am not a cosmetic scientist. I am a good writer who knows a lot about beauty, and that's what makes me a beauty editor. And that's what makes and you beautiful. Okay. No, what makes me beautiful is my great jeans from my parents. Aw, is Sue Beth watching? Hey, Sue Beth. No, actually, guys, my dad just had surgery today. So everybody have good secular Vibes. thoughts about yes. him. So. Okay. So no, Sue Beth is not watching. So that's how to put on That's how to falsies. put on false eyelashes. Yeah. I feel like oh, you're... Did, I bring the, did I bring the mood down just now? Oh, no. No. No, we're just at... <laughs> I don't know how many events we're at because... You can't see your clock. The camera is... I feel like your homework yeah, is going to be like, you have to put on like this three more sets said. over the next mm -hmm. week. That's our that's our beauty light. The chip clip. It it like does kind of work. Ooh. Pretty. All right, guys. The lighting in here is not great. No, it's not. Um, they just is... changed the furniture. <laughs> they didn't do anything to the lighting. I want some mood lighting. I hate over overhead lighting which you can read about in my post on exovane today <laughs> it's true it is it's a scary proposition for me all right i lied i'm gonna take these off as soon as the camera's off all right well, well that was an it. epic fail <laughs> <laughs> no bye, kidding. Guys. bye guys